writing is probably hold on. Yeah. No, I know. I got to I got to do this real quick. Wow. Hey guys, one last announcement. Uh, we are selling uh, these. You guys have been seated for about two hours waiting for this. Uh, some in the front row. Uh, hope to God there's not a fire because there's no way we're getting out. It's Jambo. Yeah, we're on for a treat here, so you can see Efren getting ready to, to queue up. Efren's got a break. All right, guys. And nails so. the seven ball. Sorry, Mike, you just want to introduce yourself, bud? I've done most of it. Yeah, this is uh, Michael Yannick. I'll be joining Dell here. Uh, sorry, guys, they're using uh, one of the mics for the introductions. So it uh, should be a lot of fun. Excited about this match. Uh, yeah, no one's favored to win here. I do suspect that Efren's going to play a safety off the one right here uh, behind the two ball, or this uh, these three balls. Actually, five balls here in the uh, lower left corner. So yeah, me and Mike were, it's the first time we've actually sitting apart. So we, we both have separate, separate mics. Uh, the controls are being done uh, by Rad and his team. So if we need to change a camera angle, you'll just hear us say that we want to change. Uh, and we are looking at the table live. So you guys are watching off the stream. Uh, we're going to commentate off the table live. So we're watching it um, on the rail. So we might not get to see all the angles. Um, so do bear with us on that side. Yeah, uh, Efren just came up short on that shot. He tried to go off the other side, but uh, just wasn't able to get enough speed on the cue ball. I suspect Mika's going to play a safety. No, no chance, mate. <laughs> yeah, he's going to save himself. Uh, this table is ro rolling quick already. You can kind of see that. That's a, a bit of a bad roll. He might be able to kick the nine, and or uh, actually he's going to play a safety, kicking the two on the left side as we're looking and trying to put the cue behind the nine, but he hit it on the wrong side. Got a little leakage uh, with the two ball. Yeah, looks like the first chance is uh, it's going to go to to Efren now. The uh, I don't see a problem here, Mike. Do you? Nah, he'll play the four uh, probably in the side instead of the corner. Depending on what angle he gets on this. Oh, if he gets funny on this. Is that is that jaw hooked him? Yeah, he got corner hooked. I think he's jaw hooked. Right on the point. How's your luck? Yeah, that's a very unfortunate roll there. Now we're going to have to see Efren's kicking ability first off. So personally, I'd love to see this. I want to see which way he goes. He has the two rails, I think. He can go two rails or he might even go, yeah, two to three rails here. He's going to use the inside pocket. Yeah, three rail play here. Definitely. And he's going to try and make this ball. This will be impressive. This is top right. Ooh. Didn't account enough for the slide. You hear the crowd there just give it a... Ooh. Yeah, now Mika has choice and he'll probably play for the four in the corner as opposed to the side now that he's got ball in hand. I don't know, you know. Do you think he'll come the other side of it? I, li I like playing it in the side pocket. I just yeah. don't think he's going to try too much with this. That's what I was originally going to play, yeah, but he, I think he's got both options. Yeah, yeah, he did pocket. choose the side, yeah. And now he can play uh, above the five and play the uh, five in the corner uh, where he played the three. Shout out to my boy Raj Hundal. I don't think I'd be playing American Paul if it wasn't for him. Um, great friend of Mika, so great to see that he's tuned in. All the way from the UK. Hope to see you back soon, brother. Yeah, all the rest of the balls will go in the quadrants they're in, so he'll probably play a little one pocket with a 5, 8, 9 and put the 6 in the right corner. So, uh, Mika very fortunate to, to get back to the table uh, after that miss, uh, miss kick, I'll say. And uh, our friend's doing a... gonna have to sit until uh, the next rack and uh, see what Mika does off the break. Yeah, this is a nice one for Mika just to feel. There's no other player in the world, except perhaps Raja I just mentioned, who would go three rails and inside there. <laughs> but he's feeling out the table. It's uh, It's been freshly cleaned. Um, some of the rails are, are going to react differently with the lights. You can see the light setup. We've got a very um, a very bright setup here for you guys. Yeah, very live table. And it's uh, it's reacting very lively. So nice, nice first uh, rack there for Mika. I think he was... A little bit fortunate as he realizes that uh, Ephra made a, an error in positional. Getting jaw hooked in the corner um, of the side pocket there. 
Yeah, very unfortunate there. Uh, close kick for Efren on the three, almost made it. Just came a hair thin. Uh, this is a race to 15, right, Del? This is a race to 15, Texas Express rules. I think the nine does count on the break, so um, yeah. the players will be looking to get it moving. The Outsville Accurac is in play, so I expect to see tight racks all the way through by John. Yeah, six ball in the lower right corner, one ball towards the side, <laughs> probably veering towards the corner uh, where the cue ball is. And uh, Mika doesn't have to hit this too hard with the magic rack, so it may take a little off. We're going to try and get the uh, try and get the score on the live stream as well. So that is one zero. Uh, just going to change the graphic for you guys, ready to go. Uh, but it is just one zero. We're right at the beginning right now. Three balls gone terribly safe. Yeah, I'm not sure if it slides by the eight or not. If it does, Mika could play position, cutting the two. He could. Do you think he would attack the nine, Mike? Um, With the three sitting where it is, I think that affords natural safety if he tries to attack the nine. What do you think? I I like that play. Uh, that's a very aggressive play, but if the three is, is in a bad position, then that's probably the safest play. No pun intended. <laughs> hey Blair, yes, they are they are playing for a little bit of something on the side here, uh, but we are technically an exhibition match, but none of these guys want to lose. This is Mika's home room. Uh, so he'll want to put on a good show for the crowd as well. I think he's going to cut it, try to go... Yeah, try to play short side position on the three. beautiful, beautiful shot this is. I mean, it's going to get a little unfortunate. Oh, got a little fortunate, I think. Beautiful shot. Uh, great shot by Mika. I, if he doesn't have the shot, he can play safe, but I'm pretty sure he, he pushed it right in position. Yeah, he's just going to draw draw this one out. Yeah, he needs a little angle to get on the five, and he this might. Is, this is good. I like this. You'll go forward. Between he, between the seven nine, what do you think? I like that. Or he could use low outside and come come around that. Um, he could go two corner. ways, yeah. He could go two ways. I think you're right. He can come below the eight, so he could draw this two rails and back around. Yeah, that looks like that's what he's doing. Oh, he went forward. forward. So he had two options there, guys. I like the forward option. It, it, it does lead to natural shape on the five to the seven, and he'll play a Z pattern on the seven to the eight. So he'll come a little under the seven here. Yeah, very nice. It looks like Mika's into a, a nice loose rhythm stroke already. Yeah, he may not even have to go to the rail. He could draw, but Mika does like to pound this a little. If you can see there, but he's using the Mez Ignite shaft, so the Mez is uh, carbon fiber line. Yeah, Mika's got a couple of uh, sponsors. He's got Town Chalk as well, and uh, he uses Zan Tips. Also, of course, sponsored by Amsterdam Billiards, uh, which uh, take care of you and I and uh, Sean Morgan, uh, Alaska. Hunter. Uh, Tony Robles. Oh, that's some time, Tony. And uh, Jennifer Barretta, who is actually ranked number one right now in the WPA. Fantastic uh, achievement already. Women's Pro Bowl. So Very early in the season, it's uh, a great start to 2020 for her. <laughs> Two to zero, guys. You can see there, Mika just taking an early lead. He, uh, he won't be letting up on Efren whatsoever. It's a big momentum game, so uh, we got a lot of uh, time left in this match, but. Uh,